All right, so we're gonna start coding in Python, but before we do that, we just wanna make sure right from the beginning where we're super organized. Um, so let's take a look at our, our desktop. I just wanna create something here. I wanna create a folder, um, and I'm just gonna rename that thing uh, Python. Um, and we're just gonna house all of our documents uh, in that. So the breakout of the, uh, the unit is gonna be like this. We're gonna do packets, and each packet is going to contain new ideas, um, and they're going to get increasingly more difficult. Um, so we're going to start off with packet one, and there'll be a whole bunch of, uh, of these all the way down the line. Um, so we'll have packet one, packet two, uh, and you're going to want to keep ordering all the way up to um, packet six or seven, okay? Um, so you can do that as you go, or you can do it all now, um, whichever one is easier for you. So inside packet one, I'm going to create a, a new folder, and it's going to be called lectures. So in each packet, I'm going to have little videos that are going to kind of explain the key ideas um, and let you know everything you need to, um, to know to be successful on the challenge problems. You're not going to turn these in, but it's just going to be a good idea um, to have them so that you can uh, refer back to them and uh, consider it like the lesson, right? Uh, speaking of the challenge problems, um, challenge problems, um, you're going to put uh, create a new folder called challenge problems and we will want to note that this is packet one challenge problems and then you're also going to want to put uh, your last name in there too um, that's what you're actually going to turn into me okay and same thing you're going to zip it um, and, and turn it in uh, okay so inside the lecture folder that's where we're going to save uh, this example the real question is how do we save a, a file in Python um, you're going to go here uh, to, and you're going to try to find Notepad. Now, not Notepad, regular Notepad. We need that nice plus plus. Uh, so Notepad plus plus. If you can't find Notepad plus plus, just raise your hand. Uh, I'll, I'll come around and I'll, I'll help you out. Um, it should be on there, though. The second thing we need to do is we need to learn how to save this thing, because if I try to run this thing um, without saving as a very specific Python file, uh, it's not going to work out so well for us. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to file save as, and I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to find that Python uh, packet, and inside packet one, uh, I see the lectures, and that's what this is. This is just a, a lesson, and I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to say foo.py. Now that .py, that extension, that's the key thing. It's just going to be some text that the computer is going to have to interpret. And if we say .py, it's going to interpret it as a Python file. If I would have said .html, it would have been an HTML file. Or .css, it's going to think, oh, that's a cascading style sheet. Uh, so the way we name these things is very important. So I just call this one food.py because guess what? We're going to talk about food. The other absolute thing that you have to have before we get going is in the plugins. See these plugins right here? There's this little thing, pynpp. If you don't have that, uh, that's ex an extension that you're going to need to download. Um, uh, and if you don't have that, just let me know, and I will get that for you. Um, just feel free to pause the video and bug me wherever, wherever I'm at. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to print something off to the screen. So printing basically means it displays a message. Um, so I want to print, hello. Seems good enough. Um, and now I want to run this program. So to run it, you need to do two things. The first thing you need to do is save it. So I'm going to go file. Now I don't need to do save as again. I can just do save. You'll notice that there's a shortcut here, control S. We're going to be saving this thing a million billion times. Um, so just learning these shortcuts are going to be um, kind of useful. So I could click save like this, or um, I could just click control S. Now you'll notice something about this. See how the, the little floppy disk in the corner there is blue? That means I'm up to date with my savings. Uh, saving. If I was just to get a little crazy and add a couple more there, now it's a red um, uh, floppy disk. That means I have unsaved changes. So I'm just going to click Control S and save those. Now I want to actually run this thing. So that plugin PYNPP, uh, that's what I need this for now. If I run this thing just in, in, in Python, watch what happens. It's going to happen really quick. Watch out. See it go? Um, it just pops up and, uh, and, and shuts down immediately. Now we don't want that. Um, we want something to run and to keep it up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to run it in Python Interactive. So same thing. We're going to be running programs over and over and over and over again. So I don't want to keep going to this, um, you know, plug in, BYMP, and then Interactive. It's going to take, take too long. Uh, 
its shortcut is Alt Shift F5. So Alt Shift F5, and it's going to run for me every time. Okay, and and that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now that I've got those shortcuts, I've got the thing saved correctly. I've got my folder uh, structure all all squared away. Now I want to start coding. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to get some information from the user. So I can't say something. I guess I could. It's just not going to be useful for me. What is your fave food? I hate that I said fave. Um, so I'm going to say favorite. Um, this looks like it's going to be really good, but it's not really good. Alt Shift F5 and I'll run it. What is your favorite food? It looks like Python's giving me a little spot to answer back, but watch what happens when I say um, Jeez, Pete. What, what happens when I say pickle beets? Ooh, give me an air. Well, this print thing is really just about, it's a one-sided conversation, right? Um, so it's telling you something. It's not asking you something. If we want to ask something, we need your input, right? So if we say, what's your favorite food? Um, we're asking, literally asking your input. We're not telling you something. Um, and if I actually care about your input, I want to save it as a variable, right? So I'm going to say um, this is going to be user food. Um, so when the user gives me something, uh, I'm going to save it right here. And this thing, highlighting green, is called a variable. Um, super important. It's the it's the key idea of this first uh, this first packet. We're going to be gaining uh, variables from the user, and then we're going to be using them basically. Um, so now watch what happens when I say Alt-Shift-F5, pop. What is your favorite food? Now I can say um, I like uh, carrots and honey. One little thing, this is just irks me a little bit, is see how it started uh, typing with no space uh, in between the C and the question mark. It just bugs me for whatever reason. So I, this works, right? Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sneak in here and I'm going to put an extra space, maybe even a couple extra spaces. That way when it runs and I say carrots, it just looks a little bit nicer. Okay. So now I know what their favorite food is, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I want to kind of respond back to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, cool, if I have, I will let you know. Um, I want to use whatever they said and have it update this message, right? I want to drop it in right there. So the way that I drop in uh, what they said right there is with these curly Q brackets like that. Um, they're right next to the P. Find the P, take a right, and you found them. Um, I'm going to need to do dot format and a little parenthesis right there. Now, I want to make sure my parentheses match up. Um, so you'll see that they'll highlight red. Um, what I'm saying is inside of here, format, format is basically how something looks, right? So we're saying, how do I want this thing to look? What's going to be dropped inside of there? I'm going to put user food uh, inside of there. Let's see if it works. I'm nervous. Alt Shift F5. What is your favorite, favorite food? Um, my favorite food is waffles with Doritos. You know someone is thinking of it. Okay, cool. The next time um, I have waffles with Doritos, I'll let you know. Works perfectly. Um, these three little uh, three little arrow things, that means that your program is completely finished. Um, uh, I can still interact with my program. Like, I could do this, print, and I could print the user ver uh the, the variable user food out, um, and it should say waffles with Doritos. Um, I can even do math in here. Um, if I say print um, what's three plus seven, it'll print off 10. Um, so I can do a lot of stuff like, um, like that. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Um, right now, we're just going to be coding uh, with these programs. All right, let's talk about some. Um, so well, let's 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 make it a little bit more robust. So now I want to do two variables. Um, the second one I'm going to say is going to be called user drink. Um, 
and to wash that down you like what I don't and and you need to wash that down that doesn't make a lick of sense um, so now I'm gonna get the their their favorite drink um, so in line five I'm gonna change that a little bit so it says cool if I have blank and now I want to have the basically their their drink go right there right so in this format, I can just extend that. I can just do comma, and the next thing I want to put in there is user drink. So two key things um, that kind of trip people up with this um, is one is just spelling um, and just having just poor spelling and typing skills. Uh, you'll notice as you watch these, I misspell a lot, but there's a really easy way to check. Um, if I would have said user um, drank up here, and I said user drink down here, uh, a misspelling, uh, obviously a mistake. Um, if I double click this, you see how it only lights up once? See, if I click user food, it's gonna highlight every single one of those that has the same spelling. Um, so it's a really quick way, if you're using the same variable, 95 different spots in your code, um, double click it and, and you'll be a, it'll, it'll flush out any misspellings. So now I can say user drink like this. Um, What's your favorite food? I like um, uh, fun dip. Uh, blended <laughs> fungus. I'm trying to get fun funions. Funions. There we go. Cool. If I have fun dip and blended funions, I'll let you know. Awesome. Uh, works perfectly. Um, we'll get some more robust uh, stuff a little later on, but I think that's a good stopping point um, for the first video.